What is up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso in today's video We're gonna be doing a 250 shootout here in MX bikes on the a kit bikes created by Scallet Scrout, excuse me Scralix uh, huge shout out to you, man. I appreciate you for coming out with these bikes. Just another avenue of approach. Something to get, kind of get your feet wet with. And I'm definitely going to be trying out all the 250s today. We'll definitely get a 450 video going. But yeah, let's go ahead and lock in. We're on the Yamaha 250. I'm um, here at the Deegan compound. Deegan's been kind of killing it in the game right now. So what other better compound to come to for a 250 than his? So yeah, pretty nice, man. It's got some really nice ruts here. Pretty good flow. So we're going to try to see if we can push these bikes to the limits. It is going to be a long video, so we're going to do every 250. So strap in, get your lickies and chewies. And I want to say thank you guys so much for 25,000 uh, subs on the channel, man. You guys have been absolutely cranking it out every day for your boys. So super huge, man. Nice little scrub. Come on. Oh, I do like the uh, do like the weight on these bikes. They're not overly uh, like overweight, and they're not underweight. But like you can definitely whip it. The Yamaha's not bad. I think it does have a front tuck issue. Um, I think it's just something in general up from the Yamahas. They all have front tech issues. So we really got to slow it down and connecting these ruts. If not, you can see what just happened there. So <laughs> we're going to try to run at least like two to three laps maybe on these bikes just to kind of get a really good feel and see what I like. I am running them all stock, have no setups on them. So it's really just personal preference on what I think is going to be the best thing for my buck. And maybe you guys might have other opinions. If you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comment section. You know what I mean? If you guys have been liking a certain bike but right now the yamaha is definitely not up there for me i think it's just a front tuck issue and i hope it's not for the rest of the bikes but um i do like the power band on it not bad not bad at all i do like the engine braking on these bikes as well like the engine braking feels really great like it actually wants to bring the bike to a stop so i really am looking forward to the 450s when those come out and really like when i actually test them and see like how much i can actually not necessarily stop on a dime but get the bike to stop so far i think the biggest thing is just having to really slow down this bike to try to connect into a rut from away from the oems i think the oem you can carry a lot more momentum into a rut or a corner and then still be fine these will probably kick they, they, i feel like they kick you completely out pretty quick so maybe it could be handled with a easy peasy uh, you know bike setup but uh that's definitely something down the road that we could probably jump into Nice little scrubberoo. Double and then triple. See what this outside looks like. I love how you, it, the brakes feel pretty great. Like it stops right there on the dime. That was pretty nice. Oh my god. Uh, I would say for rating this bike, I'd probably have to put it at a maybe six. No, no high seven. Probably like a six, maybe five. I'm still not feeling it. But I could be changing when we get to another bike, and that bike might feel way worse than what I was feeling here. So let's go ahead and hop into our next bike. Okay, next up on the list is going to be that Triumph 250. Right off the bat, I enjoy this sound mod. This sound mod actually sounds pretty nice, but the bike sounds very quiet. I don't know if that's like literally my game, my game sound or what, but this one right here sounds really quiet. I think I really heard the Yamaha. A lot like I could hear the Yamaha ball Yamaha but you're trying to hear this bike sound like the sound mod it's very low so maybe it might not be the best sound mod for me if I was like really choose to hear like when I need to you know shift and all that if I did not have the uh, miles per hour down in the top bottom right corner so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that at all but I mean it feels nice I like it already I think I'm already liking it more than the Yamaha let me see if I can connect in here yeah, that felt a little bit better. I feel like I was able to carry more momentum. I felt like I was just running on ice, you know, like stepping on nails with the Yamaha. I just feel like it was it was definitely there, but it's like going through like some of these corners and stuff, you low-key just tiptoeing on your Jordans. But I like the power band on this. This actually feels really great. Suspension feels actually natural. Um, I feel like the Yamaha was a little bit bouncy. This right here feels a little bit way more planted. Wow, that's beautiful. Actually, I really do like this bike a lot. Uh oh, I went out of that rut. Definitely work on trying to connect in ruts. So let me see what this rut feels like. So definitely another little front tuck thing. You guys can see that that front tuck, when you get a little bit too low, is really just kind of knifing. You kind of be, got to be careful of how far you can push it and how fast you're going in some of these corners. That felt great, dude. I could not do that with the Yamaha. I think the Yamaha would have absolutely kicked me out. I like this Triumph 250, yo. This thing's nice. I gotta actually jump that, man. I really haven't ridden this track like a whole lot. So trying to get used to like certain jumps of how much power I need to bring it. 
definitely get in there and see what I can do in this middle run. Definitely hard to do. I think second gear trying to like get right back on the gas is super hard to do on these bikes. I feel like the front end wants a lift so quickly. So it could be just a skill issue, but not bad, dude. I like it, dude. I mean, it looks good, too. This is like, I guess I should say this is my first official Triumph I've ever ridden. Because, like, OEM doesn't have the Triumph out yet. And then, like, I, I had the little model swap of the Triumph before. But this actually feels really great. I can't wait to see if this Triumph is actually going to be, like, a force to be reckoned with with the actual OEM, you know, side of things. If they actually end up bringing it out soon. But this bike is absolutely beautiful. Scott, you did, like, a really good job on this one. The Yamaha feels a little bit twitchy, a little bit like, almost like knifey, like into the ruts. But this one right here, man, I love the power band on it. I think the only thing I could say is some of these sound mods are very low quality, but also it could just be my own settings. It could just be my own settings, but man, it feels great. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next bike. Next up is the TM250, and off the bat, I'm not gonna lie, this uh, it's kind of model on it. <laughs> it kind of looks kind of cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie, like I've never seen a model TM like this. So I like the fender on this. I like the TM like kind of bar pad. Bike looked actually really beautiful. Um, I like the blue vibrant out of it with the white. Very nice. Now. I'm very curious to see if this bike's going to be actually viable inside this pack because the TM just needs so much work. Now, I have heard from Maximus for the OEMs that the that, that bike is actually being, like, having to come up. I, I believe when I see it. But right now, these Skrallix, this bike actually feels really planted. It feels really nice. I feel like right now I'm getting, like, around the track and I'm, like, kind of flowing, dude. Like, I, I, I feel like I have, like, a goaded setup on it right now. And I'm, like, barely been on the bike for, like, no more than, like, 40 seconds. See if I can throw this thing. Whips don't feel bad. Oh, wait. But that was on me. I tried to scrub the life out of that. I guess I should be testing to see if these bikes can really whip. But, man, does this thing feel great. Yeah, I like the TM. I think, man, I keep saying, like, every bike as I go on a little bit better and better. And I'm so crazy that I actually started from the bottom to and working my way up. So this bike right here is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Don't really like the sound mod on it, but it is louder than the other sound mod. So I really think it's just that sound mod that might be super low. Nice little scrub. Nice. And I think on a 450, you actually triple that, which is pretty cool. But this inside's doing to us. Ah, too sharp. Too sharp, too close. Man, I thought I was going to be able to get that for show. I like the whips on these bikes though. The bike, the bike feels great with some whips. Like really, just throwing it, dude. Once again, engine braking feels absolutely natural. Like it feels like real life engine braking. You know what I mean? Like I got a KTM 450 Supermoto, and I know when I drop that thing down the second and first, like it's gonna actually like start to get you some engine braking on it. And you know, if you ever wrote, written bikes in real life, it doesn't really matter what bike you ride, as long as that thing has an engine, you can get some good engine braking happening. And, I just feel like right now it's actually starting to slow the bike down, like really taking it from a top gear to a low gear. Like right there. <laughs> like right there. I think I barely pressed the brake, but it actually slowed the engine down. That was beautiful. Oh, nice. No, 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 no. Don't get off the track. Oh, I saved it. That's going to be a good scrub, right? Yeah, scrub. It's going to be a, another scrub. A triple. And then see if we can take this inside. That was beautiful. I felt like... I felt like... Pressing on those brakes weren't going to actually hurt me in the long run. Like, pressing on those brakes actually helped me to connect into that rut, and I was able to actually drive the bike back out. No! All right, I believe it. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, let's go to the next bike. I actually like this to you. Good old Suzuki 250. Now, the thing about this, like, I guess I'm really comparing these bikes to the two, uh, OEMs at the moment, just, like, in a very good positive light, right? I'm trying to see what's the difference between what Skrallix did and the OEM. So I'm not hating on anything. I'm really just trying to find the differences. So with that being said, like, I think the o OEM 250 Suzuki is definitely just super heavy. Like, it's got the power, but on, on how fat the bike is, 
you don't really get to express on how much power that thing has and I feel like they've definitely suppressed it to where it's like we know how much power it is so we gotta make it a little bit fat we gotta make it a fat boy that way you're not flying around the track which I completely understand man you don't want a broken bike and you don't want a bike that's literally to where it's like above and beyond everybody you know we don't want to go back to the Yamaha 450 life and 250 only life to where we were in that little state to where it was only two bikes viable and nothing else at least in the state we are in right now we can actually at least ride a lot of these bikes but right now i cannot go ahead and tell you this bike is actually way lighter than what the oem is and man does it feel pretty great does it feel pretty great i like it let's see if we can catch up i don't know how to hit that freaking line yet gotta really feel how the bumps feel on it though you know what i mean because i wonder if like just because it's a little bit lighter can it handle bumps i get that triple let's go can let's see if we can slow down oh okay so the turning um the turning radius definitely probably gonna have to mess with the swing arm and stuff that turning does not look good so this this bike might need some help on turning i have not witnessed any turning like problems with any other bike yet so maybe this bike might be having that hard time turning but yeah that wasn't too bad but i guess unfortunately you got to slow it down super super uh slow in order for to get you some turning so something that you could definitely do in the workshop and get a little bit lower on it what this inside is working with yeah it's also knifing as well couldn't really connect in that rut so it's almost like it kicked us out immediately and it didn't it it didn't play nice with a deep rut so there's like small ruts right but there's deep ruts that you know we need to try to connect in that might be a fast one and like right here for instance like this is pretty deep actually felt bad good but like i was at like 20 miles per hour like maybe 18 you know what i mean like we want to be able to try to keep our momentum around that corner and then drive out of there but like if you can't can't drive out or keep your momentum up it's almost like you're just getting stuck in there so kind of bad but i do enjoy that that you really have to take your time actually connect it's almost like a, like i felt like i going back to real life bikes you know what i mean like you're not about to go mach 10 through a corner you're not gonna go mach 10 through a corner and i think just we're so used to oems and 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 fast and how fast the, the game is is that like we're think we're expecting you know we're expecting to go through this little thing at like mach 10 but it's like really scratch has showed you like you gotta slow down and connect in the rut in order for you to get any speed you can't do it like <laughs> you know to to full potential maximum so i i like that respectfully i do like that ah wow still was even too fast but it's going to go into the next bike suzuki i definitely is up there gotta gotta really find the edge the perfect niche for where i'm missing out on some of these tight ruts all right ladies and gentlemen we are here on the ktm 250 and a ktm 250 is a force to be reckoned with on the oem so i'm gonna see if he i wonder if he downplayed it just a bit in this a kit series to where it's like it's not that overpowered it's kind of just something to be viable but i will say right off the bat these uh these ktm i think this ktm has a really short gearing box like gearbox if i'm not mistaken it's almost like it's ready for me to shift pretty quickly but it actually has some really decent power <laughs> things actually getting up and moving so i was able to connect a little bit better okay never mind. i might have lied about the gearbox this thing's actually kind of pushing p in a pretty good uh light so and yeah, that engine braking feeling nice Let's see what we can do in this rut just gotta slow her down so i'm fine with that i'm perfectly fine and that's what kind of defeat like makes his bikes completely different to the uh oems just gotta slow down for some of these uh some of these ruts and it makes it up for better riding and playing i i, I should say you know you can't like it, i feel bad for the person behind me trying to go mach 10 and gonna go crash he's probably gonna crash into me but you really have to slow the bike down which i'm fine with i'm personally i'm perfectly fine with it allows me to actually use my brain and use my mind to be like okay let me connect let me connect let me connect you know what i mean because in real life that's what you're saying like you're trying to thread the needle and you're trying to be perfection you know you're trying to hit perfection like literally hit the hit the rut and bounce out when you're going at mach 10 you really just you're kind of just hoping and praying that you connect into and i think i think i i think this allows you to really like use your controller your analog sticks and really test yourself like okay can i connect in there and then move out you know and I think that's that's I think that's 101 of like really learning this game like something that I forgot about you know like with how many hours I have like 1600 now you know you kind of forget that like now it's not that you know like when you're first starting out you're like okay connect connect and then push out you know and you're really slow and then as you get a little bit faster and faster you know how to like easily connect in there but here 
it's making me like feel like I'm back as a, like a child, you know what I mean? Like of the game and like really having the focus to connect in that rut. Well, let me see what this looks like, you know, like see how fast I'm going in. It's like ready to dip me out. It's got to slow her down just a bit, man. It's not, I can't go Mach 10 through there. Nice little whipperoo though. I like that. Scrubberoo. Nice. Definitely like this bike a lot though. I will say so far, it's probably my favorite out of the bunch. Uh, it, it's probably just kind of grown on me just because I'm already a KTM rider, but like I feel like I was able to get up on this bike and not feel like I have to actually like fight against it. But maybe also just because of like how far the video has came in, I've learned. I've learned a little bit more and and feel like, okay, now I know that these bikes aren't going to take no crap. They want It wants you to slow down to connect in these ruts. So that's what I'm going to start doing. That's how I'm going to start playing it and make sure this, you know, the rest of my time riding these bikes, I'm not going to butcher them. So... WKTM, let's go ahead and hop into the next little one. <laughs> you know what's kind of crazy? This game almost knows that, like, <laughs> like this video almost knows that I'm like about to ride the Kawasaki because I went on Instagram for a second and an Axel Hodges video showed up. So, <laughs> huge shout out to Axel Hodges, bro. Probably never see this video, but huge W to you, man. But uh, yeah, Kawasaki, man. I'm hoping that this bike actually does me justice. Um, I've been really wanting the Kawasaki just to. <sighs> Be viable, man. Be a good bike, you know? But right now, I'm liking it. Oh, I'm liking it. I like the the bright green he's got on it. It feels great automatically. I feel like I didn't have to fight for that rut right there. This thing's beautiful, dude. I mean, it's just glistening and glowing off this reshade I have. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. Engine brake was beautiful. See what we can do into this rut. Wow, that felt great. I felt like an automatic connection, you know what I mean? I felt like the automatic connection. And I've always been, like, I've hated, oh, 360, no scope, oh my god. I feel like definitely, dude, I'm, like, enjoying this bike a lot, man. I've tried the, I've tried the 450 for, like, maybe two laps on stream, and, man, I fell in love with that, too. So, right now, I think the Kawasaki 250 is probably my favorite out of the bunch. I, I don't want to premature it, premature it, but prematurely it, or whatever you want to kind of say it, premature but man, holy smokes, I actually like this bike a lot. Dude, this thing feels great. Uh-oh, trouble. No, 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 don't tarnish it now. <laughs> but man, sicko mode, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking it, I'm playing with this thing now. See, I feel like I've been taking everything out, testing the waters, this thing right now, I'm, I'm opening it up, dude. I feel comfortable on this bike. Let me hit some Hodges. Dude, I literally have the inspiration from the boy Hodges right now, <laughs> dude, I'm getting active. <laughs> Look back at him. What is outside looking like? I can connect in this. Yeah, I like this Kawasaki. If we were to run races, this is probably be my go-to bike. I'm gonna go ahead and call it hands down. This bike looks beautiful, even stock. Like I like the little color scheme on it. I like how bright and beautiful it is. It's like the old Incredible Hawk. Like I shouldn't say the old Incredible. I should say like what the 2000, 2004 Incredible Hawk. It's probably that color. I would say. I don't know if you guys ever seen that one, but yeah, that was a pretty good incredible hog, and that's kind of like the color I'm basing this green Kawasaki off of. I like it a lot. Ooh. Beautiful. Uh, down. There we go. Yeah, she's got a perfect power band too, you know, and I like it. Scrubberoo. It feels it feels natural. Engine braking, nice beautiful dude i actually kind of dude i don't even want to get off this bike like i know i'm only doing like two laps to show but man dude i don't want to get off this bike bro this, this bike is absolutely beautiful i definitely recommend you guys to give the kawasaki 250 a go dude oh but i gotta get off it man let's get to the next bike Ooh, the nasty. Nasty. Oh, my God. Now, i really do enjoy this husqvarna <laughs> sound mod i don't know why but like just trying to hear all the sound mods that the Skrylux has like chosen for some of these bikes and this one feels actually pretty great like it sounds nice and the husqvarna actually is pretty sweet holy smokes i don't know this might actually have me another solid opinion dude because the kawasaki felt great and this husqvarna feels absolutely beautiful wow and it looks great huge shout out to rj hampshire bro really taking that dub man i think it was well deserved I hope that he kind of chooses now to kind of after the outdoors, you know, after outdoors and all that, he moves up strictly to 450s. I think he's got it in the bag. I think I remember Daytona of last year, not this year, but like the one before when uh, he moved up to just kind of ride and fill in the place for Malcolm Stewart for like a ride. That was really awesome, man. I mean, he literally got a heat race, so I think he's capable 
definitely capable of doing it. It's just like now he's got to full on, you know, practice it. And I think he's going to have more than enough practice. And I hope he's practicing outdoors, like with a two, 450 instead of a 250. But I think RJ is going to be a force to be reckoned with next year if he decides to go up. I hope he doesn't try to go for another chip. I think it'd be kind of not necessarily pointless, but like at this point, 10 years in, 10, 10 years in 250, and you know, you got one, just, just go with it. You know what I mean? Go with that flow and stay there. But I hope that the next season after that, like, coming up like he's definitely gonna be 450 and i love it so far the husqvarna actually does feel great it's almost like the kawasaki and this bike is low-key competing for first place once again ah, dude i just don't understand sometimes trying to get into some of these like tight 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 corner ruts like i feel like i can't rail it you know what i mean like a full-on rail like i have to literally respect the bike and slow it down so and I just don't know if it's like just the way uh, he made the ruts on this track, but could be just bike, could be that. I mean, I would love to give a second opinion on another track, but today, right now, it's not the biggest deal to where it's like I can't connect. All I have to do is just slow the bike down. So maybe it's, once again, just the way he created these ruts on, on the Deacon compound. Feels great. I like I like how the the power band feels on all these bikes. Like I get a lot of good power, like torque to the back wheel. It's almost like it's actually digging up some dirt. Nice. Yeah, definitely gonna put the Kawasaki and the Husqvarna at my like top two favorites so far. Top two favorites so far. I've gotta go ahead and say it. Was I able to slow down in that thing yet? Beautiful. Yeah, definitely anytime you try to connect in a row you can just see that front end is having just such a hard time so maybe it's something that it is the bikes or maybe it's just something that needs to be touched up on and fixed in the files got a little bit of front end work but let's go ahead and go to the next bike baby. next up we got that bad boy honda and <laughs> i don't know what it is but this model makes like the bike look very skinny like when you go on the honda from the oem that bike's a little bit fat like the the, the frame of it is very fat but this thing's very skinny but felt really comfortable getting into that rut. Had no problems. Really driving, pushing P. Nice. I love, I love the, I love the whips on these bikes, dude. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. Turning didn't feel too bad there. I think it could be adjusted. Felt like I Loki had to slow the bike down a little bit more for it to turn. Nice. I can do middle rut. Oh wow! Literally magnetically <laughs> stop, like straight down, deep down. Maybe the next lap we can actually connect with that. I feel like the the biggest goal that I've been finding is just some of these bikes. A lot of people have hard times just connecting the ruts, or that's the biggest problem. Just allowing yourself to really fill the bike out and allow you to get really good speed, like. Connecting in ruts is what's getting you to get to the next section, and if you can't connect in a freaking rut on a bike, then you shouldn't be riding it, you know what I mean? Like, you should not be trying. Like, it's almost like really slowing you down, like, multiple times of a second. Like, if you can't connect in ruts like that on a daily basis, the bike's just not viable before you gotta find something else where you can work with it. Now, once again, all these bikes are stock, so it's almost like I'm not having a complete setup on it, I haven't really figured out a setup, but... It's just in certain spots, the, the the bike feels great if you ride a berm high. Then as soon as you deep dig into that rut to where you're a little bit lower on the ground, and you're kind of toast, you know what I mean? So you got to, like, ride every berm high. It just kind of sucks. Like, you really can't actually get the full potential of you actually cranking the bike over. And if I try to crank the bike over, then it's almost like I can pull up a little bit more momentum. But then as I speed up, I can't really turn the bike. I like it, though. I like it. This, this Honda's not bad. I love the skinniness of it. <laughs> Boy, Scrawlix, man. Putting out a banger, dude. Putting out a banger set. And this is only the 250s, guys. If you hadn't even tried the 450s, definitely going to be getting that video uh, cranked out here soon, man. But I will say so far, that, that Husqvarna has got my heart. That freaking Kawasaki, dude. Definitely be running those at least. I think it's just the turning radius on this one. And what was the other bike that was like that as well? Like, the bike just would not turn. And, oh, here we go. And as soon as I do turn the bike, get a little front tuck on it. You're supposed to, 
it's supposed to like lean forward with the bike so you can actually get like weight on it so you don't front tuck it and I'm doing that and I'm still getting a front tuck like what you know what I'm saying like what but Honda eh like I, I'll give it a good seven like I, I could think I can work into a setup with it but stock yeah it's not I'm not feeling it but yeah, let's go ahead and get to the next room I kind of just realized I didn't do shift C on any of these bikes, so I'm like really close up on the bike. <laughs> and I, I just looked at my OBS and I was pretty close, so that's an L on me, but I mean, unfortunately, there's nothing really I can do. I'm not going to go back and record all of it just because I wasn't away from the bike or showing more of the bike off. But yeah, if you guys don't know about shift C, man, you definitely need to do that. Get, get a little bit farther away from the bike so you can see. And that probably might have been what's kind of beating me up inside some of these ruts. I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, you know, a placebo effect but let's see what's up nah, it's definitely placebo effect definitely placebo effect but we're on the gas gas now gas gas doesn't feel bad at all looks very beautiful too i love that some of these bikes you actually put like the good old like you know cool graphics from like the regular factory edition of it like not fully like full factory but you know and that just did not feel great at all that was probably more of me than the bike i'll, I'll give the benefit of the doubt say i'm an l right there not bad on the sound mod on it. It's not that I, I'm not hating it, nor do I, am I loving it. Feels great. Gas gas might be a force to be reckoned with. Gas gas might be a force to be reckoned with. Nice little scrub. Nice little scrub. Triple. See what we can run on this outside. Oh, that was a little hard. That was a little harsh. That was a little harsh. They kind of connect in there, but you can still see the knifing. Like, I'm literally packed in on that freaking uh, rut, and I'm still knifing. Like, I don't know where that's coming from. Holy smokes! <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. That thing, like, jerked the crap out of me. I'm surprised I'm still alive off that. That was pretty wild, dude. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty wild. I'm not going to lie, but we'll leave it out. Uh oh, trouble. We'll leave how it is. We can connect back. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the gas gas. I'm not really feeling the gas gas. I might be really butchering the bike, but personally, I'm not feeling this gas gas at all. Maybe can something change my mind a little bit later on it. Maybe connected one of these ruts down here where I truthfully messed up. And yeah, no, not even close, dude. Not even close. I feel like this bike definitely needs some work. It's probably this right here in the Yamaha is probably gonna be my least favorite out of the pack. I don't know why, but it's just I'm not feeling it. I'm automatically not feeling it, and I don't feel like giving it another go. So I I hope that this can change my mind later if I end up getting a setup or trying to build a setup for it. But stock, not for me, Chief. And I, I guess I, I guess I'm like tarnishing its wages before it. I even actually fully give it a setup and give it a go. But I know for sure right now it's a it's a no go for me uh, stock wise. Like if I had to choose a bike right now, it's just plain stock, Kawasaki, and Husqvarna. Like, I, I'm going back to those bikes every time, dude. But the bike, the bike's beautiful. I definitely, I definitely 100% agree with that. I love the skin that you put on it. I like it. So, yeah. W, uh, w bike, but I'd probably give it a little nice little six, dude. Nothing too crazy. Let's get to the next bike. Last but not least is the Fantic 250. Now, I'm, I'm having high hopes for this bike because... I hate this bike on the OEM, okay? And it's like it's like a love-hate relationship. I feel like with a good setup, the bike's not bad, especially for 450s, it's not bad. But for 250s, man, this bike can... <laughs> I don't know, man. But, I mean, we ran that outside with some pretty good momentum, and it felt great. It didn't kind of boot us out. And the fender looks way better on this bike than it does for the OEM. I'm actually kind of vibing with it. I'm actually kind of vibing. I love the skinniness of these bikes. Um, it looks like it's not really taking up the whole screen. I, I just, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. I like the different, different set of it. So, suspension feels great though. Like on all these bikes, other than maybe the bounciness of the Gas Gas and the Yamaha, you know, I just, I just don't know about those two bikes. But the suspension feels really great. Did a really good job with it. I feel like there's just certain tweaks that you can do, but like I don't know how to create bikes at all. So I think you've done an amazing job. And once again, I haven't even tried any of these with a setup. So, once when that happens, and if none of them are really viable and it doesn't really change much on the setup, then it's like, okay, bet. Now we got to go back and figure out what we can really do to change up on the bike. But, man, I really hope these guys, these bikes do get, you know, added to the dedicated servers. I mean, I would be kind of salty if these got added before 
uh, the supermoto bikes. Uh, I know what's his name uh, created the supermoto fix, and he still hasn't even updated the uh, supermotos yet to there. So that'd be a kind of a bummer. But I might be wrong. They might be there. I haven't touched them in a second, but prove me wrong if so. But yeah, I don't know these. I, I would be kind of salty, but at the same time, I'd be kind of happy knowing that someone got to at least a good little win and was able to at least update these bikes. Because I feel like there would be some really good servers on them. I feel like people would actually put some hard work into them, just like they put the factory bikes in there. So, I mean, once again, it's just another avenue of approach of fun. Like, what? why limit yourself to uh, just, you know, one or two things? Like, you have the AK bikes, you have the factory, you have the OEMs. Like, I think it's great. I think all you could do is probably get a few pointers here and there, maybe get a couple help. A little bit more help on stuff and i think it'd be great but i don't i personally don't know why i'm saying he needs help in certain areas on things because my me riding the bike i feel great it's just certain bikes definitely need to be touched up on which for example like i think going into these ruts definitely need to figure out the knifing situation to where it's like it's not even allowing you to connect in so i i just don't know i don't know it's almost like it, you can't really depend on stock suspension to try to even try to win, win a race or compete if you're just gonna get blown out like you got to take all the slow lines in order for you to feel like you're gonna fight the good fight so <laughs> i don't know but as we come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys enjoyed my little pointers my little my little you know feedback um i'm gonna definitely say overall if you guys made it to this end of the video huskavarna and kawasaki you've seen it here first man i love those two bikes they're the best ones out of my pack for the 250 we will be doing a 450 uh, video as well. Um, Skrylox, I do apologize, man. This has been taking forever to try to get this video knocked out. But these are my, this is my two cents, is my own opinion to a lot of it. Um, I am not the best writer, but I try my best, and I hope that you guys listen to a little bit of what I had to say. You guys do give this uh, these bikes a go. The link will be down in the description below. But I greatly appreciate you, and we'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 p